The prophet Habakkuk was confused. In his day, there was a lot of violence and ungodliness in his own nation. <clears throat> he cried out to God and said, God, why aren't something being done? Why aren't you doing something about this? God answered, I'm going to. I'm going to send the Chaldeans, the Babylonians. They're going to come and they're going to, to exact a punishment upon the people of Judah. Habakkuk shrugged his shoulders and he says, he says, God, how are you going to do that? They're more wicked than the Judeans are. And God said, I want you to write this down. I want you to help everyone to understand what I'm going to do. The only one that's going to survive are those who live by faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Speaking of the king of Babylon, he says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. In other words, the only ones that are going to make it through this, the only ones that are going to be delivered are those in Judah who have faith in God, a remnant, not the whole nation, but a remnant. And what's interesting is, is that verse is quoted three times in the New Testament. It's a foundational verse for us to understand that nothing has changed. The only way to be right with God is by faith. The first place we see it in the New Testament is in Romans chapter 1. I'll start reading verse 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. So the only way to be right with God is to believe the gospel. The gospel is the power of God to salvation to everyone, to the Jew as well as to the Greek or to the Gentile. The second place that it's used is in Galatians chapter 3. I'll start reading there in verse 9. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. So here he, he tells us that, uh, this contrast between the keeping of the law and living by faith. <clears throat> if you're going to be justified by the law, you have to keep every aspect of the law continually. Well, no one has done that. But the just, the person who's justified or who's right with God, they're going to hear the gospel. They're going to believe the gospel and they are going to live by faith. The third place that that verse is quoted is in the book of Hebrews. And in Hebrews chapter 10, I'll start reading in verse 37. It says this, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now that's talking about our Lord Jesus Christ and his return. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. What do we learn by this? Well, from Habakkuk and all the way down, each one of the places that that verse is, is used, it helps us to understand that salvation is only through faith in Jesus Christ. The just or the person who is justified or right with God will live by faith in the time of Judah's captivity by the Babylonians, those who were faithful to God, those who believed God, they were the ones who were delivered. In the book of Romans, it tells us that it's the gospel that's the power of God, and the just will live by faith, by believing the gospel. In Galatians, it tells us that you're not justified by the law, but you're justified by faith. And in Hebrews, it says that the true believers are the ones who are looking for the coming of Jesus Christ and who live by faith. I just want to encourage you this morning. Put your faith in Christ. Believe his word. That's the only way to salvation. God bless you. Have a great day.